Hey, Elmer. Hey, did I wake hey. you? Did I wake hey. you? <laughs> Marie? Yeah, did I wake you up? Yeah. No, no, I'm good. I was just at my desk, uh, uh, just handing some ginger tea and just hold on my music a little bit loud. Sorry. That's okay. Um, yeah, I was doing some research too, but no, I'm, I'm good. What's going on? Hey, I wanted to um, call you because I wanted to thank you for helping me through my <laughs> emotional detox meltdown the other day. Oh, don't you? Yeah. I just, mm -hmm. um, I don't think I've ever experienced that much pain and that much fear before to like where I had to vomit and everything that that was just unbelievable so I, I just really right. want to thank you for being there for me no of course and you know there is a lot of internal work that you're doing too at the same time right so just keep in mind that as uh, you know you're doing and in, um, incorporating all these healthy foods and superfoods mm -hmm. and um, that one blend that I had recommended for you yeah um, you know I, you know, whatever you want to call it, the spiritual community calls it the third dimensional world, which it is, but right. just know that it, it'll come up as uh, you're experiencing this stomach pain or this cough or my immune is shot or, um, so, but, you know, know that everything is, again, stored in, in, in the tissues of the body, so right. you need to release everything out of your memory, cellular memory, because, you know, we hold on to crap, um, right. unfortunately, and so... Even myself, I'm a perfect example. I've been clean and <laughs> all kinds of stuff for six years now. And mm -hmm. um, so I still have those moments, right? And so right. just know that, um, um, you know, when we're slightly ungrounded, we, we tend to feel, um, well, what the heck's going on? I have no idea what's happening. But um, for now, yeah, you feel really, really good over the phone. And uh, don't worry about that. Of course, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, because, I, I, you know, I have a lot of followers on, on YouTube who sit there and say, well, if you really eat so healthy and everything else, then why are you always getting sick? Or why are you having this these emotional breakdowns and on and on? You know, it's it's like right. we're, a, if, since we're healers, we're like above it all. Yeah, well, you know, you just have to understand that people, people are beautiful, you know, and mm -hmm. I only see divinity in them. And when I see them from that perspective right I see them that they're also healing right. you know there's something in you that they are wanting to perfect you know whether right. it's health whether it's relationships even if they're unconscious they're unaware of what's going on um, they want it you know because if they were aligned you know you know with everything um, within themselves mm -hmm. and what have you they would uh, they wouldn't project as much but you know, another thing, too, is that I noticed as, um, and let me know if I'm talking too much, <laughs> but, uh, you know, as, as I was coming to this awareness, this consciousness, mm -hmm. uh, I noticed that, okay, I'm eating high vibrational food, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm incorporating astragalus, ashwagandha, all these amazing foods, and, right. and, and eating really healthy, and I was still storing some stuff in my midsection. Um, yeah, I'm still on there. Like, oh, well, you, you've got a slight, but it's but it's not. You know, I'm, I've gotten mm -hmm. rid of it, and it comes and it goes sometimes. And I know that it's due to emotions, and it's due to and it shows up all kinds of like ways. Um, right. Like one one thing I learned is that you know, like that double chin thing that people got going on. It's like that's actually comes right. from the liver. Because like when you do liver flushes, you'll notice that it goes uh -huh. away for a while, and then it comes back and you know, so yeah, everything's right. like emotional and belongs to certain organs and everything else. And I think the only thing difference between me and most of the people on YouTube is that when they have these emotional breakdowns or, you know, they're having all this trauma going on in their life, they don't, they won't share it with their viewers. And I don't think that they're doing their viewers a damn bit of good right. by hiding this stuff right. from them. Right. You know? well, it's also easier for people, you know, and even that, that I currently work with, Mm -hmm. to kind of reach for, like, let's say, John Coffey, and I'll do this cleanse and I'll, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's, there's also emotion involved in this. Like, in the liver, if you feel that there's something happening, well, I ask people, go deep. Go beneath the wave. Go all the way. What, what, what do you think is... And, you know, some of them are in denial, and that's okay, right? Because we're all at our own pace. Yeah, because when you um, asked me to do what, that... 
it's like I literally I could f I could feel the pain in my liver as I was like pulling, mm. you know, why yeah. why am I yeah. having this? Why am I having this, you know, detoxification breakdown? This is driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Um there's actually a reason why I called I called you. Okay. I'm Yeah. I'm thinking about leaving YouTube. I just <laughs> Homer, I just, I mean, you know, it's like I hit, everything was fine, it seemed, till I hit, like, 10,000 followers, and then ever since uh -huh. Christmas, I think I've gotten, like, 600 more, and it's, like, the nasty, I, and I'm not talking just regular messages, I'm talking, like, nasty, fiercely name-calling messages, you know, and they're they're doing them in the name of uh, creative criticism. You know, creative criticism, my yeah. ass. It's like you're not telling me, hey, you need better colors in the background, or I mean, you're telling me, hey, you're no good, you know, and and you're not healthy because yeah. I'm I'm stinking yeah. forty pounds overweight. I'm not healthy, and you know, I mean, I've talked to you about this before, and you even told me, you know, if if a big uh -huh. overweight doctor came in eating a candy bar. And he was the only like heart right. doctor there was, and you were having a heart attack. Hell yeah, you'd have him work on you, you know. But exactly. I can't give information because I'm forty pounds overweight, and that that to me is just ridiculous, you know. And and then I got followers just arguing with each other, and I don't need that because my followers are all some of them are sick. I don't need them defending me and argue. I'm just I'm so stressed out right now. <laughs> Yeah. I yeah. can't even sleep. Well, just know that. Right. This, the, well, let me go ahead and fix that for you. Hold on. Um, okay. Um, okay, so understand that with, you know, people, even that you see at a convenience store, at a grocery store, mm -hmm. you can, you know, just, just the, the way, what's helped me to see and, and be able to work through some stuff is that I only see the divinity in people. And I understand that when people project that way, it's because mm -hmm. there's something in me that, again, they want, they, 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 they need, they're seeking, they want to protect, whether it's a relationship, whether it's health. Um, um, so those people, they're slightly unconscious. And, and again, that's okay, right? And so we're all trying to better ourselves and be healthy. Some people, you know, I tell people, unfortunately, some people hit, a tree and then they finally wake up and realize oh crap I gotta or sometimes people just surrender and right. uh, that's what I did uh, I hit a tree but, um, <laughs> so know that they don't know <laughs> know that they don't see that in you right and right. Um, you can't just quit YouTube just because somebody is giving you a comment and you know that doesn't doesn't it just it's not how do I say this um, it's very it's, um, mm, I've had that before, right? Because as I'm coming into this place of healing and just, uh, it, it takes years too, right? Of course, mm -hmm. to finally be able to see results. Right. But, um, but, you know, you can't just quit based off of somebody's fears, um, or somebody's emotions or somebody's attachment to this third dimensional world. So love them unconditionally. Yeah, but what, I mean, okay, but what does that say about me too? Doesn't that say that I just, you know, oh, hate me a little bit so I can love myself more? Doesn't that say that I don't love myself enough either? Uh, yeah. A lot of people. <laughs> Was a, that a, a yeah? Not, no, no. A lot of people oh. are not going to understand what you're doing, right? You know, I know that you get on YouTube and you talk to people and that's great, but right. I know who you are. I know the regimen that you have for yourself, the way that you eat, and um, sometimes I'm kind of somewhat jealous of that, uh, <laughs> but, um, you, I, and I know that you're very strict, and that's good, um, but they're not going to know, some people won't understand that you're still having to release stuff, you know, um, again, stuff has been stored since we were kids, you yeah. know, um, things from our parents, and, and it, it just, you know, waking up to that understanding that there's so much power in that and and saying okay 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 i'm eating healthy and and, and i should be feeling this way i should be but yeah there's still some cleansing happening and your body will only go at the pace that that it's allowed to go right you know and sometimes i remember being bed down for for a 
couple months, and I'm like, what the heck is going yeah, on with me, yeah. and I, I don't feel great, and so I knew that that was part of the process, and finally, um, that's, you know, I understood that myself, but no, you can't just um, quit YouTube. There's a lot of people that depend on you. Um, a lot of people, you're doing so much good for the world. Um, I mean, that's insane to just... I know, but it gets to the point, man, yeah. where it's like, okay, what you're giving is not enough. I need more. You know, you're not answering my questions uh -huh. for free. You're not, you know, give me, give me, uh -huh. give me. And I just I feel like I'm so overwhelmed. Right. And, and I mean, you know the situation where I'm at right now. I mean, you've helped me through my divorce and, you know, and then I got, now I got the grandchildren's, yeah. you know, um, shoved in my lap. And I'm, it's just, you know, I mean, it's, it's a lot to deal with just one person, you know, I mean, it's, oh my God. I just like want to scream sometimes, you know? <laughs> and go ahead. No, I'm kidding. And unfortunately no, I scream at you because you're my rock right now. <laughs> um, just because I understand it from a different perspective, you know, I used to be, um, I guess kind of maybe in, in a similar uh, predicament, um, but it's part of the process, right? Mm -hmm. And you can't blame yourself for it. And you can just love yourself for it and do it. And you have to constantly. So I'll go ahead and just, um, I'm going to remove that stuff for you right now. Okay. So. Um, I think I'm going to um, be shutting down okay. all, my, all my comments too. I just, I don't, I just don't need the negativity on my page. And you know, every time you work on me, like whenever you send energies my way, it's like, I can always feel it. Like right now, when you just said, I'm going to clear that, I felt it in my right kidney. Okay, good. Like I could, I, I felt the, like the vibration in my right kidney. I can always feel it where the energy goes and where it needs to go. Perfect. And that's exactly where you need it the most. Um, you know, kidneys are tied to... Um, Fear? More of the, I'm sorry, my fear, what? My fear, my fear. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, somewhat, but fear is more in, in the intestinal area and, and liver area. But um, more of the um, confidence uh, is really? starting, you know, in the kidney. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so it's just starting the kidney. And I can see that right now in you, too. So let me go ahead and just clear that for you really quick. Okay. So I'm clearing out um, just, you know, just your aura and the field around you a little bit. Um, yeah, I can see where this is coming from. Wow, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> I can feel that all um, the way up my, my spine, like the tingling. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, what I did is just also align um, the chakras for you. I always uh, feel so much better. And, uh, Every time you work on me, I'm just like, <laughs> I just, I suddenly, I have, yeah. uh, you know, it's just like, it's almost like, and that's got to be hell on you because you're absorbing all of this. Right? Well, Isn't that how it I, works? You know, yeah, kind of. You know, in the very beginning, uh, when I was coming through this, because yeah, I felt like, well, you know, I, 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 I was, I'm, I'm a Christian. I go to church when I do these things. And so, but I understand. I had this feeling since I was 16, like there's something else going on. There's this, you know, we all have this ability and we all have gifts. And mm -hmm. I just had to own mine. And, and I was in denial for many, many yeah, years. Yeah, me and, too. Until finally I just surrendered to that. And, um, so now I just let, you know, God just completely spirit just work through me. So now, you know, you're right. I can feel what you're going through and I can see because mm -hmm. last time when you called me and you were about to throw up, like, I could also feel that. Right. But, you know, it's so easy for me to transmute that now. And so it's, it, it's, it's very, um, I don't know, just does, it doesn't, doesn't hurt me or bother me anymore. So I clear it for you really quick. Um, yeah, you you're definitely since you, you can attach to my energy, you you can actually clear me really really fast now. I'm really surprised. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. well. So I, no, going back going back to the YouTube thing really quick before mm -hmm. you know I don't know. Again, I know it's kind of late. What time is it? Oh, it's, anyway. Yeah, it's getting pretty but, late. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So just know that you can't do that, right? So understand that people where people are coming from, mm -hmm. and um. Um, only see again the divinity in them and love them through it. And even if, of course, they're just regular yeah, comments. It's just so hard just sometimes. Stuff, God is so hard that, sometimes. Ugh. Yes, I understand. I understand. That's why I I haven't really fully gone out there and started a, a YouTube channel. Even people tell me, 
Mm-hmm. Like, you should, or you need to do this. And mm-hmm. It's like, but hold on. Like, I, I still have this. But know that um, you've been ready for a very long time, and, and obviously we all are. Yeah. But, um, yeah, don't you can't let that stop you from growing, because you have a mission. You have a plan in this life. Right. right? And you need to fulfill that. And obviously you're in it now, and you got to keep going. Um, okay, so, so guess, you know, now that are, you said that, I wanted to ask you how, well, how would you, I know you just said you didn't want to open a channel and all that, but um, how would you feel about coming on and doing a video with me about sharing your journey on how you got your gifts and how, (laughs) how you got all that, you know, kind of introduce you to my viewers. How would you feel about that? Um, I was just, I wish I was just in the mountain somewhere in the Himalayas, but no, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, you know, and I've, I've been ready for, for a very long time and I do help a lot of people. Yes, I agree. Um, you do help a lot All of over people. the world. Yeah. And I keep and you on retainer. <laughs> Say what? I said, I keep you on retainer. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, go ahead. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm, whenever you want to. I'm, I'm available, okay. I think. Let me see. I have, yeah, I'll be busy this week. Uh, this week, and I think, I don't know if I want to. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, we could be, you know, Sunday so, or sometime next week, whenever you feel free. Well, so since you're, you're a good friend, and you know I love you to death, and I appreciate you to death, <laughs> would you, how you bad can. would you hate me if I told you that I had been recording this whole conversation? <laughs> 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 you know what? I I just and for what? to put it on YouTube. Oh man! <laughs> well, because I know oh, you know. I mean, I know that it's like I want it to be raw, and I wanted it to be natural, okay. and I I didn't want people to think, oh, you know, oh yeah, they rehearsed the whole thing, and they. I didn't want that, and you know, New Mexico is only a one person consent state, so I actually don't need your consent. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. So would well, you hate me? Um. So is that happening right now? Yeah, or, you're I mean, still. Yeah, you're... you're still being recorded. Yeah. Oh well. In that case, <laughs> hello everyone. I love you. Uh. Uh. Know that you're loved completely. Um. Yeah. Shoot. I guess. I don't know. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> cool. I'm. I'm nervous. No, um, don't be nervous. Don't yeah. be nervous. I think you did awesome. Yeah, yeah. I think you yeah, did awesome. Well, that's that's kind of sort of what I do, and and, and, and you know, I try to do it really, really fast. But um, I wouldn't have done it if you weren't yeah. a really good friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for. And for, I wasn't for such a brat, know. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And underhanded. But and by the way, yeah. On a side note, no, I'm blind. Um, <laughs> no, you feel really good. Uh, yeah, I do. And, um, I always feel better after talking to you. I just, I, maybe right. I can get some sleep tonight because, oh my God, I just, I did not get, and well, you know, I mean, you know what bought everything on and it's like, right. I just, I couldn't sleep at all that night and, you know, I mean, I had that conversation in my head and it just uh-huh. triggered all sorts of stuff, but the funny thing was that... <clears throat> what you made me to see was that it didn't have anything to do with that conversation. It actually had to do with something what? completely different that I had not dealt with yet. Well, yeah. Well, now that I know that I'm being recorded, I won't say exactly what it was, but yes, that's why I had mentioned, Hey, go, mm-hmm. you know, I, 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 I know that people have, we all have this ability to, to be able to see what, you know, the, the issue is. Um, and just really quick, um, for a while, you know, I, pe- I would have friends come over, and sometimes I, I just didn't. I wanted my own time, my own space, and mm-hmm. then I would, I would, so, so I would have like some allergies, right? And I would have like a cold or something. I'm like, why? I'm super healthy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, so then I knew that I was creating that mm-hmm. for that moment yeah. because it was a form of denial, right? And uh, again, people are not gonna. Most people will understand it. A lot of people don't. That's I've noticed okay. that. Like, but, I do that a lot lately. I, I even noticed it earlier yeah. today. I did that with someone. Right. You can create it. Uh-huh. I mean, in 
all kinds of ways, uh, a sick, an illness, a sickness, a yeah. stalling someone at a, at a light or maybe at a store or uh, an appointment. You know, one so, of the most um, powerful things that I was ever told by someone was they told me, you do not have to die in order to be loved. And I literally, I mean, that was so uh, profound for me because I literally took myself to the brink of death to have that person love me. And uh, they didn't yeah. love me any more or any less when I took myself to the brink of, of death, you know? And I, I realized that after I did that, and I was like, wow, that is so profound, you know? Right, right. Amen. Amen. That, that's really good because I've been in that kind of sort of same situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. it wasn't until I found <clears throat> myself internally, my internal love. It was like right. it just everything just shifted for me. And yes. I said, holy. But, um, but no, yeah, um, I'm glad that we were able to work through that, that one night. Um, <laughs> Me too. For sure, and that you got the answer, because I know that we followed up, right? And yeah, said, we hey, did, yeah, and I did get I the answer. Said, right, right. And it was so, so simple. Cool. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Cool. Well, now that I know that I'm being recorded, I got to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am going to let you go, because, I mean, I know it's it's late, especially, well, yeah. I, I have, I'm one hour ahead of you. You're in Texas. But, um... Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm going to let you go because I've already taken up enough of your time. <laughs> I feel so bad about oh, always fine. calling you. But, I mean, you know, I'm fine. you mean the world to me. Even though, And I know a lot of people are going to go, God, he's so young. You know, and you are. I mean, the amount of gifts and intelligence that you have for your age are just unbelievable. Uh, because even my yeah, friends but, now, yeah. I'm just like, oh, you know, I talked to Homer and they're like, how does he have all this consciousness at 30 when we, you know, it took us clear into our fifties to get this consciousness. I'm like, you know, I think it's just, I mean, it's when you, when you have a gift, it's what you're born to do. And, and you right. have, and you have a great gift. Sometimes you just don't have the option, right? Right. So you God, don't, exactly. I don't have that option. You and you. Yep. Um, I don't, I yeah. try to hide, I try to, you know, I try to deny it, and it was like, you know, when you have that calling, it's like, nope, you got to come forward, and you got to do this, and you just got to. Right, right. But, oh, yeah, so maybe in the next, well, it will be recorded, right? So, in the next <laughs> video, we can talk about that, because, um, um, I know you mentioned you earlier, you wanted mm -hmm. to take, you know, you wanted to have that interview. Yeah. But yeah, I can, I can touch on that a little bit, because, um, okay. that's, um, very, very profound. There's a lot of power in that, too. Yeah. And, uh, I just want people to realize their own power. Right. You know, that we're all there and we all have it. And we all have exactly. the ability. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, hon. I'm going to let you go hey. so you can get back to your ginger tea okay. and, and your book or your yeah. music or whatever yeah. it was that you were doing. Hibiscus tea. It's Ooh. amazing, too. It's ginger hibiscus. Yeah, I made it. It's really, really good. But, mm. hey, I love you and know that. Um, call me. Okay. Um, or, or, you know, text me and if, and if I can... Of course, answer them. I will answer for sure. Okay, I love All you. I right. appreciate you. And thank you so much for allowing me to share this with my audience, okay? No doubt. Okay. Peace and love, everybody. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs>